right, it's six o'clock. Uh, we'll start the, uh, we'll call the meeting of the Conway Select Board to order. First item on the agenda is the approval of the minutes for the May 16th meeting. Has everybody had a chance to look at the minutes? Yes. Okay, yeah. any uh, additions or corrections? They're good, they look good to me. No. Okay, good. I'll make a motion that we approve the minutes for the May 16th meeting. So I have a second. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Next item on our agenda, we have uh, four uh, warrants tonight. We have a vendor warrant for $40,257. We have two payroll warrants, one for $97,800. $76 and one for $1,063. I'll make a motion that we approve the payroll warrants. Do I have a second? Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Um, we have two payroll deduction warrants, one for $26,013 and one for $232. I'll make a motion that we approve those warrants. Do I have a second? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Uh, I just want to check to see if we signed all these warrants. Dan. Dan. What's your last name, Dan? Thompson. Thompson. Uh, Here we go. Oh, another one, John. Will really you keep pulling out of your pocket? <laughs> <laughs> Do we have any meetings that have been attended by the select board members since our last meeting? I have a meeting. So uh, Tom and I went to the, to the economic development strategy meeting and mainly what we did was we approved the draft of their annual report. Which meeting is that? The, the comprehensive Economic Development Strategy, said CEDS. Okay. You and Tom went? Yeah. yeah. Tom, Tom watches. Okay. Do we have any citizens concerns? Seeing no citizens here, I don't think we have any citizens concerns. Uh, new business, the first item on the agenda is the Franklin Regional Housing and Development Authority. The Community Development Strategy Update and the Housing Rehabilitation and Social Services Grants. Hi. And with us tonight, would you introduce yourself to our crowd? Yes. Um, Pam Parmakin, I'm the Director of Community Development at Franklin County Regional Housing and Redevelopment Authority. Okay. That's your name, Pam? Parmakin, P A R. First name's Pam? Yep, yeah. Please just say Pam. Okay. Hi, Pam. Parmakin, P A R. P A R. M-A-K. M-A-K? I-A-N. I-A-N. Great. Thanks. Thanks for being here, Pam. Thank you. So um, I had run down the street and wanted to pop in on the housing committee meeting also, which okay. is um, a great time. There. So um, we are looking at starting to identify um, possible towns that might have interest in um, being part of our regional grants for the 2017 grant. Um, cycle. I know it sounds a little bit early, but um, I had spoke to Tom um, maybe the week before last, and I had been going through um, the community development strategic action plans, and Conway hasn't um, updated there since 2012, and you didn't need to because you hadn't applied for any community development mm -hmm. block grants. Since then, you're required to update it every three years if you're going to be um, participate in a regional grant. So I was going through our housing rehab um, wait lists, and currently we deliver a housing rehab um, loans to Conway citizens um, through the Revolving Loan Fund. Right. And you guys currently have um, six people on the wait list, mm -hmm. so your wait list is starting to accumulate right now. Um, and t the last time that you guys participated in the grant was 2013. In 2014, through the revolving loan, we were able to deliver um, three projects through housing um, revolving loan funds. Mm -hmm. Two in 2015, and um, we have enough for the one project that we're doing now. 
in 2016. Here in Conway. That's right. Oh, yeah, yes, yeah, 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 so, we'll yeah specific well. only to Conway. So, um, and like I said, you have six um, households on the wait list, although mm -hmm. we haven't marketed to Conway since the 2013 active grant. So, um, the other thing that you did back in 2013 is uh, you were part of the social services um, portion of the grant, and at that time you were delivering um, uh, the activity that was occurring in Conway were um, a Meals on Wheels, um, a home delivery right, um, right. meals yeah. program. Mm -hmm. So anyway, um, I'm seeing if you guys are interested um, because your wait list is starting to mm -hmm. accumulate again. All the towns in the state that are eligible for community development block grants um, are classified either as an entitlement town, and those are like Boston, the bigger cities, many entitlements um, in Franklin County, the only mini entitlement is Greenfield, and then the smaller towns, and the smaller towns are split into what's called a CDF1 or a CDF2. Conway is a CDF2, the community-wide need scores are very low. Mm -hmm. So it's a very small pool of money that's um, available in the state of Massachusetts uh, last CDF year. CDF is Community Development Fund? Yes, um, and, and you guys are, I actually thought, oh, I wonder if they want to bring home some reading, because sure, you don't have enough. Um, I, I separated out the community-wide need scores um, mm -hmm. in Franklin County, but um, I thought maybe if you wanted to just sort of refer to them, um, you know, later on, that it would be nice to have that. Sure. So that um, so Conway, as I said, is um, a low community-wide need score. These are um, the allocated by the state, um, and part of the things that go into that determination is are the income levels um, in the town, population, um, and uh, how stable the town is, and what the needs are. Right. So. Um, so it's a low score. You would only be eligible to submit a grant or be part of a grant um, in a CDF2 application. And last year there was only 2.9 million that was distributed throughout the state for the CDF2s. Mm -hmm. um, I did a little research and looked back over the last two years, and it seems that about 40% of the applicants are being funded. So there's not a lot that are applying either. So What's um, the, the score cutoff for CDF2s? Uh, 25. 25. Yeah. So, okay. so anybody 25 and below qualifies under that's CDF2. Right. That's right. Okay. So um, because the, the grant itself is so competitive, um, if the applications don't score almost perfect, then they're, they're usually not funded any longer because there's so many towns that are competing for them now. Right. Um, part of the way to get a perfect score is to be part of a regional grant. So mm -hmm. it's very unlikely that um, small towns are funded um, as standalones. So, right. so anyway, um, we're also meeting with Waitley and hopefully with Deerfield and just sort of putting it out there that, mm -hmm. that maybe you know, maybe it's time to see if, if you guys are interested, because again, you do have that wait list for housing rehab. If um, we submitted, uh, likely, when I went through your um, your last community. Were we CDF2 in you are, 2013? You were part, what, what you were in 2013 is you were part, if you're a CDF2, you, if, as one town, you can be part of a CDF1 application so you guys were part of Bernardston's application in oh, 2013, yeah, yeah. right? So, so um, that's that's the only way you've been funded in the past is being part of a right. regional application um, with a, a bunch of towns that are CDF ones. Mm -hmm. So this year we we think we are going to submit an application under CDF two. Um, yeah, because Deerfield and Waverly are CDF two. That's correct. Mm -hmm. That's correct. So um, the, when you guys did your last community uh, development strategic action plan, the number one priority that you had on it was um, housing rehab. Right. And this mm -hmm. was back in 2013. Yeah. And then um, also as one of, one of your top priorities was social services. Right. 
Now we would have to update our plan yep. by October. That's right. Okay. Yeah, but um, you know, certainly we could help and participate in that, and and okay. you know, and, that, and the housing committee that. generally does some of that. I think so. Mm -hmm. okay. um, and, and and your town will maybe the better answer is is that is that right? In your town, um, some some towns deal with it differently. Yeah, our our, our town administrator will, will handle it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So um, so anyway, I'm here to plant the seed today. Okay. And I think we should invite, don't you? Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. yeah, yeah. 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 We'll, we'll we'll be we'll be part if you want to do a a Waitley Deerfield uh, Conway application. Yeah, and again, right now, all I'm doing is just sort of like putting it all out there mm -hmm. right but now. But you're painting a picture pretty negative for a CDF two. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> it's, I would love to say that everything's funded, but it's not. Um, yeah. There were. When I looked on the applica applications for last year, there were, um, I do believe, seven applications and three had been funded. On the CDF1 applications, it was somewhere more in the line of 26 applications right. and 60 percent of those had been funded. So less were funded, less towns benefited. So, you know, in that sense, you know, because the numbers are smaller. Mm -hmm. You know, it's always, you know, I'd love to say that, that any time there's federal funds distributed to the state that, that the rural towns are always first priority, and we're not. You know, it's, it's really unfortunate because it feels to me like it's often, you know, the state, or, you know what, I shouldn't say that the state's approach, it, it seems often that it approaches like more bang for the buck, you know, and it's To me it feels unfortunate that yeah. it's the, it, the town score hurts the relative needs of the six people you're saying that are on that's our okay. wait list. Who, that's right. Who, that's who, right. Who, who, who might have real, real yeah. serious oh, needs. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. And, and, and. You guys, um, at the, not you guys, but the town of Conway, because there is a um, revolving loan fund we've been able to keep up with the need through the revolving loan right, fund. Right. So now it's starting to catch up, so now it's t probably time to be part of the regional grant again. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I certainly think we should do that. Yeah. So, um, okay, well, when um, Tom gets back, yeah, maybe we back, can, uh, you know, sort, sort of yeah. take those next steps and Absolutely. start start putting together um, some planning and, and right? Terrific. All right. Thank you, Pam. Yeah, you welcome. Appreciate your coming in. Of course. And letting us know about this because uh, you know this is certainly important for those people in town who need it. Of need course, it. and um, because of the timelines, as I I think I, you seem very familiar with the timelines of yes. it. Yeah. You know that if um, if we don't start the work now, then a grant won't be <coughs> or eligible. So. Were you on the board in 2013? Yes. Yeah. When we did that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah, Ro I, Robin came in to see us. Oh, Robin Sherman? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I miss Robin. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's a really impressive document. That, that, it was. That yes. we need to update. Yeah. The, yeah. the, um, <coughs> your CDS yeah. document? Yes. Yeah. 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 The updates are, well, the CDS document, you do that, the big document, but then you do, you go through the updates every three years. Three years, yeah. 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 So. Great. Okay. All right. Pam, thanks for coming Thank in. Thank you. Today. Thank you. Good seeing you. You we'll, too. We'll be in touch. Thank you. Tom will, Thank Tom you. will be coordinating with you. Okay, terrific. Thanks again for um, seeing you. Today. Take care. Bye. Hi. Hi. Hey, Janet. Hi. How you doing? Good. Come on in. Grab a seat. Have a hot seat. No, Tom? No, Tom. Tonight. He's on vacation. Oh. Yeah. Our next item on our agenda is the FERCOG fiscal year 2017 Franklin Regional Cooperative Highway Products and Services. All right, we do this every year with them, and um, this is basically uh, bulk buying of highway products, mm -hmm. and they usually do a pretty good job at this. Um, I'll make a motion that we uh, we sign the contract with them. Do I have a second? All in favor? Aye. Okay. 
I thought they specialized in paper, but it's more extensive than that. No, it's a lot of things. It saves the town a ton of money on yeah. advertising costs. Yeah. Because it does it once for most all the communities. Yeah. 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 My next item on our agenda is the, to approve the brush hogging and agricultural reuse of the Rose property. So this isn't on who's going to do it. This is just, this is just well, the just approval to, of, to approve of doing it, getting it done. And Tom yes. arranges that. Well, Tom, we got. Can we, we talk we, about that or not? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, Tom and I talked to with the uh, Jack Lockhead talked about getting the mower down there. And um, and then we t I talked to Ron Sweet. He said he could do it, but he couldn't get to it after July first because it was getting ready for blacktop right at the moment, which is fine, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, wow. And then Jason, Jason um, Silverman uh, got asked, but his comments back to us on emails were that he didn't think he had the proper equipment all the time to get it done. And he was supposed to come in tonight, but he well, sent, just sent an car. email out. He was tied up tonight, so he couldn't oh, make it. Okay. Uh, but uh, uh, so I think Jason uh, would like to maintain it as Hayfield in the future, but I don't think this first initial morning he's going to be able to get to it. He may be able to get to it in the future, start like this fall start working on it and get it ready for next year. Because you know, the last time anything was done, there was corners going on. So whoever needs to do something down there now needs to turn the soil upside yeah. down. Yeah, and plant and, it. And smooth it all up and reseed it to grass. And that's what Jason doesn't have. And that's what Jason doesn't have, doesn't have. He does a good job what he does. Right. Um, uh, so I think that, I would, I would hope that maybe Jason could look at that this fall and possibly get a line to try to do something for next summer. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, we're we're going to we're going to approve the operation of that anyway, mm -hmm. whether whether it gets done by Jason or oh, whether it gets done oh, by Ron. Ron. Okay. Okay. So I'll make a motion that we uh, approve the brush on yes, agricultural yeah. use of the roads. Before we vote, should we? Do you have something to add to that, Jan? Well, not not specifically for the motion, but yeah. in terms of the mechanics and the timing. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah, yes, I do. Um, as you all may know. Uh, endangered turtles have lived there. The wood turtles. The wood mm -hmm. turtles. And uh, because it was agricultural, mm -hmm. they uh, are exempt from having to be careful mm -hmm. of the turtles. And since it's now town land and you know a lot of new uses are being proposed for it, I strongly suggest this is time to be a little bit sensitive uh, to their remaining existence. The time, we were told by the turtle expert, that the time to mow, the most active from the middle of June, uh, and that's when the females leave the river edge and migrate up through the fields for their summer nest, for their summer forage. Okay. And so what we do with our property, which uh, is mow, and I mow a few trails and I keep them mowed just all summer. Most of it's, mm -hmm. most of it's not mowed until the end of September, by which time they're back down in the river. Mm -hmm. What's their deadline for going back roughly? Well, he had told me way back, he said roughly, Father's Day, but I think you know things are warmer, and so I'm like a for my own space. It's like about June tenth. Um, but that that's when they start coming back up into the fields. Most likely. When do they? You know, the time you think they go back, on average? Uh, well, and, and in the in the fields, and then they go back at the end of September. Like September, October? Yeah. So, so what you're saying is the best time to do this is before Father's Day and after September? Yes. Okay. Before, like, Father, before, you know, in, in, um... Uh, I know that they're going to, I walked down there when they was, uh, was lit, um, ribboned off, 
for the river project they're going to do there. Now they've got to mow that because they, they've got to mow that down too because what they're going to do is they're going to take out, uh, they're taking out six inches of topsoil right. to start with and they're going to dig that whole thing right. down three inches and put, I mean three feet and put that topsoil back on again. Right. So they've got to mow that. But I'm get sure that they're, 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 they're going to be dealing with the turtle guy. They already said that. That they're paying somebody to go in there yes. and you know scour and try to find them. I mean they're hard to find, you know, especially the mm -hmm. you know very young ones. And so anything you do has the potential. When, to, when does it have to get planted? Uh, Usually in the fall, I would think. So, I mean, or I spring. Think we could plant it well, after spring. September. I discussed you might, you may not be able to get it right the next spring now. Yeah, that I kind of got that. I discussed with um, with Jason last night that the, the possibility that the Agricultural Commission could perhaps find somebody for the future who would consider a less intensive, a less motorized agricultural use. Such as? Such as grazing, some sheep, sheep, grazing or sheep that could be moved. Um, I think if they had a decent hay base there, it probably would be very good for them. And, well, you know, I'm not an expert. Right now it's just weeds. But. I'm, I'm not an expert in livestock, stock, but you know, a goats. You bring people yeah. bring goats in and they take care of your poison ivy and you know all this, all this. I know there's at least one uh, part-time farmer in town that runs people's product, goes and leases people probably to put his sheep and goats on. Uh huh. So that might so, be possible. So we're. Um, I think the Open Space Committee, which I'm here for, mm -hmm. and the Agricultural Commission, we're going to try to talk some more about, you know, that that might the be timing possible okay. in the future. Now, as for immediate mowing, um, there is a possibility. I mean, there's some people in town who have rotary mowers. Mine needs a little sharpening, uh, <laughs> and I'm a couple of miles away and. But um, Tony Borton used to mow the fields, mm -hmm. uh, and um, Jack Block had kept a path open, and Bob Lincoln has a has a mower now. I mean, I, you know, none of this is just all theoretical possibilities. But in terms of like, since it's not going to be used now mm -hmm. uh, for production this year, you know, wait until July yeah, is to save a few bucks when, but but probably we'd be paying, what, what, what's Ron Sweet going to mow it with? Does town it, tractor. The town has and a? Mower, mm -hmm. And he just doesn't have the time? Well, he said he didn't have the least the first of, he didn't think that till July 1st. How about a little overtime for him? I mean, it can't take more than Free express to Ron, two maybe. three hours. We'll, 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 we'll talk to Ron and see if we can do it before, say, the middle of June. How's that? Yes, okay. that would be great. Okay. That would be yeah. So don't we have a contract with somebody for mowing the town? Yeah, but it, it doesn't doesn't it include insurance. Yeah, it doesn't include that field. Yeah, but you're paying an extra to mow it. Um yeah, I'll, I'll see. I'm sure he does. Oh yeah. Well, I'll, I'll I'll talk to Tom and see if we can get or, or the reason we're talking to Ron is because yeah. it was going to cost us nothing. Yeah. Yeah. But even um, <clears throat> As a former fiscal manager, uh, 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 some overtime for for somebody on the town crew, I suspect would be cost a lot less than Milanovich. We'll 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 get it done. That's like a contract for the sides of the road. Yeah. Uh -huh. well, right. Thank you, Jan. Thank you. Thank have you. A good, have a good night. Thank you. Okay, next item on our agenda is the fire department update on the fire department. So, no, we, we never had the vote. We didn't have the vote. Yeah, we, we, we oh, the vote on the brush hog. Right. We, we haven't taken a vote yet. <laughs> 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 yeah. Okay, I'll move that we approve the brush hogging of the Rose property. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay. That this was a long fun. conversation. Not having a vote. Yeah, with no vote. Okay. All right, Ron, are you here for the... Uh, for the fire yes sir uh, I do have contract. the uh, contract for the fire truck I, I also have the contract it needs to be yeah this is the original that's the original this is the one that has to be signed and sent back let's see I think the one that's, you that's just for you a on on uh, relay for life oh okay thank you um, so we only have one original y yes okay 
Uh, you've got you got the original. Like I said, yeah. yeah. Here, here's here's no, the original. original. This is the one that's already been signed I've got by uh, Rosenbauer. Right, right. That's the one we're going to mail back to him. Okay. I do um, have another one. I look at it in my truck. Of course, it's is, out. Sure about me. So we can is he going to countersign a contract for us? Uh, that is his there. His right. And we only have one copy of an original right. that he signed. Right. Okay. I, I mean, we, maybe well, he did sign that one, John. Is the one the one you had the copy that you had? Is that? Yeah, I, I have. Is that? Mean, I is just that have signed, copies. Or is that just a? I just have copies to before sign before it was before it was signed. By Rosenbauer. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. What do you have there, Bob? I didn't think I thought I had one. Ah, Another there original. Is. We got two yeah, original, original contracts. I think you have two originals. <laughs> you left out there. I thought it was at home. I was looking at the other I guess supposedly there was a question on some of the wording in the contract, and that was reviewed, and everything is all. Town Council all. had a question about a section that basically says there aren't any warranties. Well, right. that's, a, it, that, that's what the question was, and, and the thing is, the warranty is there, it just, the way it's written in that, it doesn't state it, because the truck is warrantied by Rosenbauer America, which is the parent company of Rosenbauer New England, and the truck that we're actually buying is through Rosenbauer New England, that's which the, the, the construction of it and uh, so forth is is uh, by Rosenbauer America. Mm -hmm. So, so it, it, it's just, you know, it's just a wording thing, that's all. Just a wording thing, huh? Okay. Any questions on the contract for Rosenbauer? You've gone, you've gone over this with a fine tooth comb. Bob. Yes, we've uh, okay. launched on. And our, our town them. council has looked at it. He only yep. had that one question. Right. Everything else was, mm -hmm. was okay. Um, and then no one's going to go out and inspect it. They were, they were going to drive it here. Uh, there is in the in the uh, specifications for one trip for three people. I thought it was three. Ed. The uh, one that's finished before they deliver it. Sounds like a fun road trip. So, well, I've been on a couple. Yeah, I ain't a long it's, way. <laughs> it's not all that much fun. <laughs> of course, this one we don't have to drive back. The other ones we drove back. Oh yeah. Okay. So. All right. I'll make a motion that we sign the contract for the uh, Rosenbauer New England LLC contract uh, for. Uh, Building our new fire truck. Do we have a second? Second. Bob can't vote on this. He has to abstain. Right. Oh. Exactly. So. Um, okay. It's you and I, Bob. All right. I'll vote yes. You vote I'll yes. I'll vote yes. Okay. And this is only one signature. Yes. Right. We all don't sign. We also have to sign this um, federal excise tax exemption certificate. The undersigned hereby certifies that he is. Okay. Well, congratulations on the fire department. Getting this through. Thank you. They put a lot of hours in. Put a lot of hours. Yeah. Had a lot of hours in. Yeah. yeah. Going over. I so think there's up between 60, 70 hours they spent on it. We had a. Oh, at least that. Uh, we least had a new going, garage. It was a different it manufacturers and yeah. all of that. Yeah. Just months they worked on it. Months. Well, yeah, it would have been a lot easier with if we had a a different headquarters. But hey, it is what it is.
There's an original for you, Ron. Okay. And I'll sign this one and we'll keep this original. Very good. And we'll get that off in the mail. Yeah, i get that tomorrow. Oh, no, well, I'm going to try to get it Very good. Can I put that down? What's that? Drop in the mail tomorrow. That's oh, that's the, the, that's the whole thing. That's the whole 174 okay. pages. Okay. <laughs> Very good. I guess we're all set. I got the, the he sent another prepaid envelope and stuff. To yeah, you said you had that. Yeah, let them, let them pay for it. That's all he already that amount of money they can pay for it. Oh, no, no, you're kidding. Yeah, spend that kind of money. Yep. Any other questions? When are we going to start worrying about the garage? I don't know. That's up to the townspeople, I guess. I think the board probably should spark up a discussion on that sometime in the very near future, or the three of us. Yeah, I think so too. And see what I come well, the only thing on my own. After we got the short fire truck? <laughs> yeah. No. We need it. That's okay. It'll work better on narrow roads, short roads. Okay, that's all right. It's like some of these towns are buying, you know, these huge pieces of equipment and they have back rows like Conway does and, you know, a lot of them, they have trouble getting around on them. Yeah, oh, sure. So, but I would, I would think that at some point in time they would go forward with that, seeing how we spend all the money on the preliminary stuff and putting money aside for it, that something would happen someday. Yeah. I see a fire truck down at Sessions. Yeah. Yeah. Two down there today. Oh, the oh, no. oh, did he get that down there? Yeah, the brush truck's down there too. Oh. It has a motor swap. Good. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Ron. All right. Thank you, gentlemen. Okay. Have a good evening. Thank, thank you, Ron. Our next item on our agenda is to assign the police and fire that's insurance on duty, Bob? Yes, sir. Agreement? Yes, sir. With Maya? It looks fine. I looked it up. Okay. All right, I'll make a motion that we uh, I can't we yeah. sign the police and fire insurance on duty agreement with Maya. Do I have a second, Bob? I'd second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Any You make your stamp, John. Number of times you sign a year. I know. <laughs> be easier, wouldn't it? No. <laughs> he signs his life away many, many nights. So the the new motor worked. Somebody got that going. No, we didn't. We. Um, Ron found there was a valve problem in the new one. The other one we had in the building, which we thought was fine. But uh, Mr. Tebow yep, yep. had one in his garage that he was a perfectly good motor, and he's taking out a bunch of diesel engines in his. So we went over there, and Mr. Bite was not good enough to pick it up and take it over the session to even swap it. Oh, that's awesome. And he donated the motor to us. So Tebow did that. Yes, great. that's one of them. All right, next item on our agenda, we need to appoint a select board representative to the Capital Improvements Planning Committee. Uh, Bob Armstrong, you very graciously volunteered to do that. So uh, I'll, I'll make a motion that we appoint you to the Capital Improvements Planning Committee. Do I have a second? Bob, second. All in favor? Can I vote on that one? No, you can't vote on that one. Yeah. All right, thanks, Bob. All right. Uh, open Space Committee request to appoint Jack Furrell. Okay, they are uh, apparently recommending uh, Jack to become a member of the Open Space Committee. Um, I don't have any paperwork from Tom on this, but I'll take the recommendation of the Open Space Committee. And based on that, I'll make a motion that we uh, appoint Jack Furrell 
to the Open Space Committee. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Should have asked Janet. If you right yeah, right. Next item on the agenda, I don't have anything on at all. It's to, to approve Windy Ridge as a private road from 116. Bob, do you know anything? Yes, about I do. I, okay. I, Mr. Uh, Decker, that bought Eddie Rose's land across oh, the savings oh, oh, Scott? Scott Decker. Right. Okay. He uh, approached, I guess he approached Joe Strakowski and the planning committee. Okay. Because on the record when he bought the land, Eddie Rose had named that driveway off of Route 160. Right across from the bank? Right. Okay, as Windy Ridge Drive? And, no, he had named it as High Meadow Drive which is the same name that Mr. Golsher gave his High Meadow Drive on Whateley Road. Off of what, what Whateley Road, right, okay. So, Joe told him that they should rename it something different. Okay. Okay, so he picked this Windy Ridge. I Windy guess. Ridge Road. Drive. And he wants the town's approval. Okay, so now, the as, only, a pri as a private road. As a private road. The okay. only question I have, and I don't know where Joe came from in this, but when we originally did 911 in the town of Congress, mm -hmm. private drives were supposed to be given, the, the owners picked names for private drives, when there's a private drive that's got three or more homes on it. Anything less than three homes, you had to keep the street address that it came off of. Like Eddie Rose uses, I believe, South for Road. I don't think Eddie Rose uses, I could be wrong on this, but I don't think Eddie Rose used that high metal drive address. No, I don't think so. Although I think that may have changed with the common driveway, the new so, common driveway. Well, the new bylaw. common driveway bylaw, we need to mm -hmm. look at it, or I maybe need to look at if it's changed. When was that changed, John? Uh, that was changed about three or four years ago. Okay, so so it's probably legal then, now. Yeah, well, there's, there's, there's other requirements as well. To, to make that a private road. My only, my only catch here is what, what, what I, I don't want to see happen is I don't want to see that one entrance off of 116 that goes to his, Mr. Decker's new house he's going to build and Eddie Rose's house being called two different names. Right. When, it's, sure. when they're on the same driveway. When they're both on the same driveway. Okay. So we're going we're gonna to need, need a little more information on this before we approve it. So I we need we should, to look up under. Uh, we'll, we'll table this until we can get some more some more information on that. We need to look up on at the what do you call it the. Uh, uh, under the uh, under the common driveway. Uh, table to uh, leave you. Yeah, we need a little more information on that. Because we, we made some very specific requirements I know you to be able to do that. But maybe Ed Rhodes would be willing to change his legal address. Well, that's the, that that's true. But what if he says no? Right, I understand. But then what? Where's the yes? I don't know. That's it. Mr. Decker is very very adamant that he's going to put his sign up. He pretty much said that in so many words today, because Joe Stokowski told him that that that's what he should do. Okay. Well, but then he comes to the board and wants approval. Right. Right. All right. We 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 need some more information on that. All right. So. All right. Items not anticipated forty eight hours in advance of the meeting. I don't have anything. Anybody else have anything? No. Okay. Tom's not here, so I'm going to do his uh, administrator update. Okay. First item on his update was committees. Uh, there have been concerns raised about the materials being used on the ball field base paths. Uh, apparently it requires more care than was part of the original plan. The soil issue is also being addressed following a meeting with the soil company. John Heffernan of Conway Youth Sports is on top of the situation and Ron Boyden is taking the lead in mixing some native sand to soften the material uh, otherwise. Uh, it would need watering prior to every game. Okay, there, that's that's being. There were some a, a couple of concerns that that are being handled. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, under departments, uh, town council, the treasurer, and the town administrator have been working on issues surrounding the amended motion for the fire truck. Both the Department of, of Revenue attorney and the Department of Revenue's regional representative, Terry Williams, believe Conway can go ahead with the borrowing for purchasing the fire truck, though it is illegal to borrow money to lease. Okay, so that. That has been well reviewed by the Department of Revenue and they've given us the go ahead. Uh, we will have more employee benefits to pay next year than we budgeted for, although we budgeted for an extra family and individual plan. The treasurer and the town administrator are working on the best way to fund this. Options include free cash uh, or a transfer from general stabilization. Would, would that mean a special town meeting? Uh, Thank you how much it is. And it, it it's, looks like it may at this point, uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll see. Uh, we will need to coordinate requests for the next application for MassWorks. Potential projects include road reconstruction and community shared septic. The town administrator does not know at this point, whether senior housing is fundable through this program. Okay. Our emergency management director to be, David Chichester, is seeking an assistant. In related news, the Franklin County Regional Emergency Planning Committee has created the Franklin County Multi-Agency Coordination Center, uh, abbreviated MACC. Uh, our emergency management director is reviewing it and as will town council before uh, it is brought before the select board for consideration. Okay, projects. Um, there was a site visit for bidders to the South River project on Friday, May 20th. A number of potential bidders were given a tour of the site. Bids are due June 2nd at 2 p.m. at the offices of the Franklin Regional Council of Governments. And this is the flooding abatement project you were just talking about? Yes. 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 Yeah. For the town field on May 17, Bill Storty of Weston and Sampson met with John Welsh of Maths West and a representative for the court resurfacing company to discuss options for correcting the issues on the basketball court. The contractor will be going over the options from the paving company and the court surfacing company, uh, then present, present what he thinks is the best option um, for the board of selectmen to review. Uh, the town administrator also asked for the pitch of the ball field to be addressed and Weston and Sampson forwarded that request to the contractor uh, for their input. Uh, GZA, that's the engineering firm that's uh, uh, going to give us the uh, survey and flagging of the land involved in the Delavar Avenue engineering. Uh, they will also be drilling uh, to test the soils and will need to close Delavar Avenue for a day. Notice will be given to all on the street and people will still be able to get in and out. The application for the Federal Emergency Management Agency grants uh, went in before the due date, which was Wednesday, May 25th. The ad for bids for reworked town hall insulation project have, uh, have been posted uh, and the due date on that is June 9th. All right, some people have the impression that the old schoolhouse is for sale. It is not for sale at the moment, but I have asked representatives and owners to let the town know if it is uh, ever put up for sale. Due to the pipeline being canceled, neither pipeline article from the town meeting is slated to go forward. What, can I ask some, do you sure. know anything more about that old schoolhouse? What's that all about? Um, 
What school house is in the world? We're, we're talking about the, the old elementary the, school. The old elementary school. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Is that just a rumor that's in town? Or? Uh, apparently. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's the update for the uh, town administrator. Any concerns of the select? I got one more. And I should have bought it. I, well, I couldn't bring it up earlier. Okay. okay. In your review package of that fire truck. Yeah. Did you look at the page where the options for discounts were? Yes. Yeah. Is the board going to vote to go one way or another on any of them or do nothing? Or we, we, uh, did you, you got that notice from uh, Joyce. Uh, we basically, we basically got a ruling from um, Terry Williams at DOER that we cannot go ahead with any, any of those discounts. No, we can't repay. No. Wow. So we just pay for it all up front, and that's it. When it's done, when it's due. When it's due. When it's done. Yeah. Wow, that's too bad. It is. It's quite, it's quite a bit of savings there. <laughs> oh, well. well, thank you, John. Yeah. Okay. Um, any other announcements by the select board? No. Ron, are you here for? I am for two reasons. Okay. One, I just have a um, contract that I need signed by the select board for the Franklin Regional Council of Governments. We already did. Oh, you already did? We yeah. already did. Yeah. And that's no. done. The only other thing was on the grounds maintenance for all the properties in town, town properties. Okay. And I'm taking them over. Okay. Oh, uh, there's three areas of concern. One is the... Rose property about bush hogging it. How about by the 15th of the month? June. We just told we got to do it before June 15th. Yeah, I got told the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, I believe made that happen. You can make it happen, Ron. I'll I make it happen. <laughs> okay. But that's what just watch some, out for the wood turtles, please. <laughs> okay. That's one of the concerns is that with the properties, I don't know what the I know that one now has a thing on it. The Cemetery Hill Bigelow lot has a time frame for mowing. I think that's after October 15th. Um, but that's what, what I need is somehow to know what... Priorities? Well, no. Well, you, they all have a different schedule. Right. They all have what what is for each of these properties yeah. where yeah. I don't know who... Uh, conservation, I know, has some of it, but um, where all this stuff comes from, somehow somebody's, whoever is requesting, you know, for these projects to be done, that it, they need to give... You, you need a schedule. Yeah. A schedule okay. of time. All right. Why don't you coordinate with Tom on everything but the Rose property? The Rose property has to be done, like, quick. Yes, okay. The okay. rest of them, uh, we, can, we can work into a schedule. So once that gets mowed... By the middle of June. What else has to happen then before the fall? Nothing, no, nothing has to happen. Nothing. And then sometime maybe in September, it might get... Get planted. Get planted. planted. I don't know, yeah. That's, that's me. Again, we get to talk to Jason. About right. That. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so, and that's, I'm asking for all the town properties. Yeah. If there's yeah. anything that any group has that has any say over, mm -hmm. you know, like, because we have the lot down behind the school, yeah. right? The, yeah. um, I don't know if there's any Part restriction. Right, the field behind the salt shed there, uh, by the right. salt shed, things like that. You know, and that, I guess that that's some of my concern is that I don't need to get dropped on me. <laughs> okay, Coord coordinate with Tom on that. Right? Do it in the next two weeks. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'll. I, he begged me, and I said yes, I'll do it. But okay. I mean, I Bob had already talked to me before about it before, and you know, right now it's bad timing, but. Do we have yeah, to officially I mean, appoint him to the building maintenance, or do or does Tom do that? Then? No, Tom. Tom does, does it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's the only big priority is that is okay. that the rose field. Everything else we can we can work out on okay. the schedule. All right. Not a problem. Terrific. I am talking. I, I, while you're here, now put your maintenance cap on. We've had a complaint a couple weeks ago. I talked to Tom about it last week. This is a quick trip. My own old job, John. 
that when he had that voting, a couple of senior men went upstairs to go to the bathroom. There's no toilets up there, no, just a urinal. And they came back down and played the strike because they were hard getting him downstairs. So we need to get Kenny in here. Look, as soon as we can, think about putting a petition, if the petitions are able to go back in and getting a couple of toilets up there. We, we have no, no toilets upstairs. Nothing. They ripped it all and get ready for the installation project. Really? They never get done. Really? And, well, I don't and now that was unnecessary because we're doing it on the outside. Right. Now it was unnecessary. They jumped the gun and did it. Yeah. yeah. No, I don't oh. think so. I think that, the um, way well, I understood it, they weren't going back in. So we're going to have a men's room without a toilet? I think it's going to be a, one bathroom for the building, if I'm not mistaken. For the building? Um, not a hundred. The downstairs okay. bathroom will, will be. Well, we'll have we'll have Tom, Tom figure, get, that, get out. that out. Okay. Figure that yeah. out, right? Yeah. Yeah, that, that'll be on Tom. <laughs> okay. Good. He's not here. <laughs> 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 no. No. Um, He'll watch oh, the stream. Hope you're vacation, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You may be watching right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not live. Oh, we're not, we're not live. live. That's right. We we'll have a day to fix things. Thanks, Tom. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thanks. All right. Have a good night. Yeah. Um, to cut that that out. contract that got signed, can that get left in my box so I can get it back to Andrea Woods? Ask that. Look at that. Perfect. Thank there you. you go. You know, if, if you would just make a copy of that yep. and put it on Tom's desk yep. so uh -huh. he knows that yep. you have it. Okay. Right. Thank you. Thanks, Ron. Good night. Okay. Um, any announcements that we have tonight? The only thing that I would have said for an announcement was the, this this thing about the the money that we are going to give to Montague and and that now we don't need to give it to them mm -hmm. and and they're okay with that they have enough money they'll do all right they're okay with that they're okay with that yeah okay yeah because when I when I saw that on Tom's uh, update I was a little surprised um, so. The, they, they, they already have received enough for all of their outstanding bills. They have a number of bills that are going to come in after July 1st. But there are some towns that have said that, that passed the $5,000 like Conway did, but said they would give it to them after July 1st. And so they, 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 they're very confident they're going to have a, a, enough to pay all their bills. And they'll probably be giving some of the money back. Okay. All right. So we were about the only town that put in the provision that if it gets canceled, we won't give them the money in. Good. Okay. Wow. That's good that he do that return to the phone. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, very good then. If there's no more business to come before the board, uh, I'll make a motion. Our, our next scheduled meeting is for June 13th at 7 o'clock uh, here in the town office. I'll uh, make a motion that we adjourn. Second. Do I have a second? All in favor? Aye. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you, gentlemen. Thank you.